can you just talk about being up 2-0 and how you guys got there by the poise down the stretch to make the plays and the shots to come away with that win tonight? Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, being up 2-0 is great, but um, we haven't won anything. I think everyone knows that. Uh, we did what we were supposed to do, which was protect home court, win, win two at home. Um, but it's not like we're patting ourselves on the back and, you know, celebrating, talking about how happy we are. Like, this isn't what we came to do. We didn't come to just uh, win two games at home and then be satisfied. And so I think we're a hungry group. Obviously, we're pleased with the way we came out today. Um, we battled. They came out swinging, um, you know, playing really aggressive. And to be able to see how we just stuck together and uh, chipped away quarter by quarter, made big plays when we needed to, and, um, you know, now have a great opportunity to go uh, take that first one at their home court. That's what our goal is. And, um, that's what we're going to go do. I didn't think we were always poised. I had some bad shots, um, but I think we got stops when we needed to. Uh, we, we got big stops, JJ in the paint. We rebounded when we need to. We gave up some rebounds, but that's basketball. They're a great team. They've been in this situation many times. Uh, we don't take them lightly, um, but we made plays when we needed to. We made big plays. We made big shots after big shots, and we just continue to believe in one another, continue to stick together, and grind it out a really good win. Uh, for Sandy, uh, you said pregame that uh, you were still very calm and that you hadn't felt any joy yet, I guess. Are you still feeling calm after that victory, and have you? are you feeling any more joy right now? Uh, <laughs> as well? Um, it's still very calm, even when it was getting a little stressful there, because I, I, I just trust um, that we can play poised in those moments and make appropriate plays. Sabrina was massive um, down the stretch there and, and making it hard for him. Um, yeah, I was excited to see Alicia Keys. Um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so that excited me. Um, but um, like Sabrina, I've spoken like a real coach here. I mean, we haven't done anything yet. We've done what we're supposed to do. We've protected home court. Um, now we want to go to Vegas. You know, we play well on the road. So do they play well at home. Um, that's all our focus now and we'll just get locked in. Hey, Sabrina. You had seven points laid down the stretch there, including the, the go-ahead basket with 75 seconds left where you had the pull-up, the mid-range pull-up. What were you seeing there? Because Asia dropped, and you've hit some floaters going at her in these first two games. Yeah, I mean, early on, I was kind of just dragging her through, um, making her commit and, and dumping off. And then, um, you know, kind of saw some great openings, um, knew they were great shots for me, and was able to see a few go through. Um, obviously, I, I always want to take those shots, you know, make or miss. It's, it's like, you know, something that I've always done my entire career is – um, made a lot of you know big shots, missed a lot of big shots. Uh, my teammates are always continuing to just pour into me, and um, you know they need me in that moment. They know that I'm kind of built for it, and continue to just um, you know JJ set amazing screens, continue to go downhill, use her the gravity that she has. She hit a big three for us uh, coming off of that screen as well. So just continuing to read and, and kind of slow down time, and I feel like that's what I did a little bit there in the fourth, just manipulated the pick and roll. JJ, how how was just the intensity of that game overall, especially in the? Why am I looking right? Oh, okay. <laughs> how, how how was the intensity of that game, especially in the fourth quarter, and knowing, as both of your colleagues up there said, there's still plenty more to come. Yeah, it was ex extremely intense. You know, it's a team that um, is chasing a championship. Both of us, and we're playing really hard. And it's playoff basketball. It's physical. Um, it's exhausting, and every, everybody's trying to get that that one possession that'll take them over the hump and allow them to win the game. Allow them to win the game. So, um, yeah, it was extremely physical. Sandy, Kayla Thornton was a plus thirteen tonight. Uh, she told me this morning that you talked to her about being an X factor. What do you remember from that conversation, and how did she meet those expectations tonight? Yeah, I thought, well, she did great. She was um, excellent tonight. And then we had to throw into the four when uh, KB, you know, hurt herself there. Um, you know, I, I said that to Kayla because that's that's what she is. I thought she could be this X factor in this series, just her, the physicality, the toughness um, defensively. We know that what she does. But, you know, her ability, I said, don't worry about offence. Offence is going to come, but you can mm. impact it with the defence. And, um, you know, everyone has an important role to play. 
and, and KT came out tonight and gave us nine big points just by doing all the little effort things. And that's why I say she is the X factor because sometimes they're going to leave her open. It's about her making plays as well. But she's out there for energy defensively mostly. And, and I, it was great to see the ball go in, in the hole for her. We ran some plays to her as well. So it was great that, um, you know, she gives us a lot of energy with just <coughs> with the passion that she plays with. Sandy, just to kind of jump off of that, and, and real quick, for KB okay? Is there any update on? Yeah, they think she will be okay. She was ruled out for the rest of the game, but it's just precautionary, I believe. So. Okay, and just on your bench, and just the the way, not just twenty one points from this bench, but on nine of thirteen shooting. Yeah. And I'm I'm just wondering if you could take me through how important playing this bench the way you have over the course of the year has sort of set yourselves up for at times where you need to give B a rest, at times where, you know, something like this happens yep. with KB, uh, that you guys are kind of set up to win in the playoffs all the same. Yeah, look, I think, you know, uh, you know, people, you, we've all talked about Slutty now coming off the bench, and we just thought that was the best thing for this team, and the best thing for her, because now she's playing with that second unit um, where we could get her downhill a little bit more. We wanted her to keep continuing pushing the pace. Um, you know, and getting comfortable in that. That means we always have two playmakers on um, at all times. And it was Slutty, I mean, especially in the beginning, I mean, she was putting pressure on them. So it was great. You know, they were – we give a little player of the games and, and the bench, you know, those two, they were the player of the game and this one because, um, you know, 21 points off the, off the the coming off the bench was massive for us. And that's, you know, we're going to need it again when we go to Vegas. Hey, Coach, sorry if I missed it, but – Two-part question. Just for clarity, what exactly was KB's injury, if you know it? And then how do you how do you like uh, the team's response in the second quarter after yeah, Vegas I, came out? Yeah, I don't really know what KB. They just said, "Oh, she's probably let's not take her back in." I went, "Okay, no problem. We got KT. We're good." Um, and what was the second question? Uh, how did you like the response from the second quarter after Vegas came out? And yeah, look, we, we talked about Vegas are going to come out. You know, this is what we're doing. They're going to swing some punches here. We've got to take them. And but I thought we didn't. Um, we, we were overhelping and creating open threes, and they were making them, obviously, in the beginning there. I think we were trapping when we shouldn't have been trapping Asia early, um, and we gave them some easy ones. But I like that we refocused. There was a great second quarter. We got up by six at half time, and obviously, you know, you saw the game. It was a battle in that second half. But, uh, you know, this, uh, that's the growth that we have this year. You know, we can face so many different momentum changes, and we can stay – Get back to, okay, what do we need to do? Let's just focus on one play at a time and, and make that the best position. Sandy, both of the, the challenges came at crucial moments. And About seen... time, a one-to-one, one, hey? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's perfect time to win it, too. Yeah, lucky I kept one. She keeps telling me to take one early. I went, nope. <laughs> Well, that's kind of my question. What or who led to challenging both of those calls? Because it really did swing momentum for the Liberty. Um... Well, I thought, Stewie's, when I had a look, I started looking on the board a little bit more too. So I'm like, okay. But then um, the, our person behind the bench said, yep. And I said, it looked, you know, it's borderline there. I thought she didn't touch it. So that was great. And the last one, you know, those out of bounds, they're the ones that are the hardest to, you know, the referees, they're the ones that usually, you know, they may hit, hit make some, not make one. But when Leo tells me to challenge, I challenge. So. <laughs> Leo never about me. Leo never lies. about me. <laughs> She told me to challenge too. <laughs> I said I didn't touch it. <laughs> no, she, I trust her. <laughs> I trust Leo too. <laughs> yeah, Sabrina, you talked all year about how the the comfort level this year, as opposed to last year, just with the experience. Did you feel that down the stretch tonight? Um, that comfort level you've talked about having this season with this team. Absolutely. Um, I mean, I think throughout the whole game. But especially when they went on their runs, um, we called timeout, I think, twice when we went when they went on really good runs. Um, and it, it's almost like we've seen it already. Like we we've we've endured this as a team. We've uh, you know, our, our group has gone through all these highs and lows together. And so it's it's like we understand what we have to do to get through it. Uh, we've played in a game two of a semifinals before, you know, last year. And so um, we knew what to expect, and it's a hungry group. I mean, you know, we're not up here, um, you know, excited with what we did, especially in this game, but I would say that we're really proud of every single individual that came in um, and stepped up and made big, big, big plays for us. Hey, JJ. Um, just a quickie. What impressed you most about Sabrina in that fourth quarter particularly? 
Let me hear it. Um, no, I think the main thing that, that's, that impressed me about Sabrina in general is not just yesterday, but like I said, the last time I came up here is that in the big moments, she just really steps up. Um, she doesn't shy away from the moments, and just the confidence that she has in herself um, and the confidence that we have in her as, as teammates to go out there and make those big shots. So, um, you know, my job is easy. I get her open, and I'm available, and I let her do her thing. But, yeah, just the way that she is, just a superstar and someone that really shines brightest in the biggest moments. Right here to your left, Sabrina. I would ask you about JJ right back. <laughs> but you've had some colorful front court moments in these in these playoffs, and you got pushed into Melo and his son there, even with the stress of the moment. Does a moment like that at least ease the tension for you on the free throws? And Sandy, just your thoughts on their adjustments that they made and how you combated those adjustments. Yeah, I mean, I, I hit those free throws because JJ was in my ear telling me I better make them. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, um, I mean, we, we can't speak more highly of um, what JJ's meant for us this year, what she's meant to me. I mean, I feel like our relationship has just continued to grow, but that kind of point guard, post player relationship is always uh, needs to be really strong. And um, she, she works her ass off for me, and I, you know, work mine off for her. And so uh, that moment was big. I mean, she hit big free throws, Stewie hit big free throws. Like, we all just came up big for one another because we all want it so badly. JJ, you mentioned that you're looking um, each game to see if you get that double double. You didn't get it tonight. Were you, were you concerned at any point? Or how I did not miss it myself because there was too many balls that like came that was ran in my hands that I just did not get. And so um, I was supposed to have it. Honestly, that that's nothing that. I should have had it. <laughs> I still won from you. <laughs> My bad. No, I wanted to know, how do you measure your performance outside of just the double doubles, and especially with you having such a tough assignment on Asia? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously she's a great player, and, you know, she's going to she's gonna score the ball, but um, just making everything tough for her, and I think I do a really good job of that. Um, and, yeah, I thought it was a, a pretty good game. Obviously, there's all these things that – you look at or think about as a as a professional athlete that you want to do better, and I always say that we're our hardest critics, you know. So um, I'm not going away from it, like you know, too excited like Sabrina said, because we still have more work to do. But a lot of areas for growth. But I'm happy that we protected home court because we worked all season to be able to be in this position, and um, now we have to go to Vegas and and do it again. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, though. Mr. Ashley. 